I was wondering if you can take me to the best food store around this neighborhood. Taxi drivers. Some people say they know some of the best food in their country. As a foreigner, I thought it's a great way to discover all the delicious food Singapore has to offer. By the way, this video is brought to you by Squarespace, which lets you create your website beautifully at ease. I'll talk about Squarespace more at the end of the video. Which one would you go to when you're hungry? Can you just around the neighborhood? Lorong Eda. Okay, sure. Okay, can you take me there? Thank you. I had no clue where Lo Long A food center was, but he kind of looked like a foodie, so I was already getting very excited. Oh, it's a hawker center? Yeah. Ah, uh, which particular stall is your recommendation? There is um, what, beef noodles, there's fried Hokkien me, fried kway tiao, prawn noodles, soup. Prawn noodles. Topayo literally means big swamp in Hokkien. The name suggests the town used to be mainly forests and swamps, but now, like other towns in Singapore, it has developed into a fairly convenient neighborhood with nostalgic icons. Many Singaporeans come here to visit the HGB Hub, where they scout for public housings, apply for purchasing, and even collect their home keys. Okay, thank thank you so much. You thank you. Have Bye. a good day. Bye. Bye. Taxi fare was around seven dollars, not too bad, and I have no clue where I'm at. It looks very local though, like no, nothing much around, and yeah, I think it's this hawker center. Toopayo Lolong 8 Hawker Center is a 15-minute walk from Bradell MRT. It's a relatively cozy hawker center with around 80 hawker stalls. I hope you are feeling hungry because it's time to eat. So hawker centers are everywhere in Singapore, uh, loved by locals. You can find all kinds of food, Malay, Indian, Japanese, Chinese, and I have high hopes. I trust that uncle, the taxi uncle. So something I learned over the past three years is that if you want to have delicious hawker food, look for the queue. So that one, Tian Tian fat rice and porridge, it got a queue and looks pretty good. But I want to follow the uncle. The taxi uncle said the beef noodle was good. So I want to try looking for that. And I think I found it. Uh, do you have beef noodle, the soup? Yeah. Uh. Which one do you recommend actually? This one good. Oh, this one good. Okay, I'll get that. Thank you. Which one do you recommend? Soup. Okay, okay. And chili. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, I'm, I'm quite stoked for this because it looks delicious. First of all, look at the amount of beef. This is like mountain of beef, man. Look at it. They have different cuts. I think, yeah, some are intestine as well. Oh, and some meatballs. I'm so excited because it's something I don't really eat that often. It's not really like a typical hawker food, I believe. Dressing soup. Wow, mm. the flavor is actually quite subtle, not overly salty. I love the beef flavor. Okay, let me try the noodles. Mm. Oh, the noodles are great. So silky. It's cooked perfectly. I love the bounciness. Wow. Okay, next let me try to dip some of my beef cuts here. This is so interesting because I think there's no hero ingredient like the beef cuts, the noodle, the soup, they're all nice but if you taste it individually, it's just okay. But if you taste it all together, it's unbelievably nice. It's my first time here. I've seen you before, oh, you're on oh, TV. Oh, yes, yes, hello. Do you want to say hi to the camera? No! Oh, sorry. Very sorry, very sorry. Which stall would you recommend here? 
fried kway teow and the oyster omelette. Number three, number three. Is it popular? Oh, is it? Oh, I think I'm gonna get that. Which one? Is it the black one or the? Ah, uh, the black chak kway teow. Black chak kway teow. Less oil. Less oil. Or you want the fried omelette or the oyster omelette? The third one. Number two. Number two. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll get that. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, I'll show that. Ah, show that. Having here, can I have the the four four daughter okay. number two? Okay. Having uh, here. Having here. Yes. Ready? Uh, spicy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Alright, so this is the Char Kui Tiao recommended by my viewer. It looks very nice. I think it's quite unique that they put Chinese sausage. Also like a lot of fish cake, cockles as well. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. This is good. The wok A, the beautiful aroma. Wow, and spicy too. Nice crunch from the bean sprouts and the Chinese sausage. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Has a nice sweetness to it. And this may be the spiciest chocolate joy I've ever had. This is nice. <coughs> and I had all the famous popular chocolate tails, but this one I've never heard of it. But it's probably one of the best I had. Mm. The cockles are nice too, but. I do feel like it's it's tad tad a bit. Hmm? I don't know my English. It's tad bit salty. So maybe great. You should get some some beer maybe. That'll be perfect. Oh, the pork bits too. Magical crunch. Good job. Oh, oh hey. So you. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I'm filming right now. Yes. My first time though, at this hawker center. Which stall would you recommend? The famous one is the corner there. The, mm. the clam beef one is famous. Okay. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The lala and prawn white beef one. Lala. Yeah. 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 Having here. Having here. Thank you. Stay on number. Okay. All right. So so many of my viewers I met here was telling uh, I should try this. A uh, white beef food. Again, it's something I don't really order. Oh, mm. oh, nice walk Hmm. Wow. It's definitely um. I, I think it can be classified as comfort food. It's not the the super strong flavors. It's something you can probably eat for every meal. Oh, the clam is nice. Also got three medium sized prawns. Mm. Also very fresh. To be honest, I don't think it's the best I had, but I like it. It's not bad, especially with the chili. And I also like how it's super hot. All right, before going, there's one stall I really want to try. And it's because there's two of the same stall. That's stall number one. And this is the second stall. So I'm assuming the demand is very high. Right, so this chendol is interesting because it's not the usual chendol. It's a, it's a chendol smoothie. I think they call it the ice blended chendol. Oh, wow, that's nice. Mm. I love the sweetness from the gula malaka and also, what's this? Uh? Yeah, I think it's, it's gula malaka jello. It was really an unexpected journey to this hawker stall. It was my first time coming here. Glad I got to try a lot of nice food. Um, if you want to see more of this Taxi Uncle series, please leave a like. 
uh, leave a comment on where I should visit next. Which neighborhood should I go next? Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please let me do a short shout out for Squarespace who made this video possible. So if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you've probably heard of Squarespace already. They sponsor so many YouTubers and I always wanted to try it because I always wanted to create my own English website, my official homepage, but I was too lazy. I thought creating a website is too much work, too much time spent on something I don't really want to focus on because my core focus is to create YouTube videos. But wow, I was wrong because with Squarespace, I was able to create this beautiful website. Check it out. I was able to create this within 30 minutes. It was that simple. For me, the easiness alone is just so helpful, but there are other cool features. First of all, it was very easy for me to connect my social media accounts. Secondly, the analytics feature is amazing because it lets you improve your website. Because I can get insights such as who my audiences are, where they are coming from, how many page views I'm getting for each page, and so on. Running email campaigns are also very easy on Squarespace because I can just select the template and customize it accordingly. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash give to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. I have the links in the description box below.